Hello and welcome to our P&O Arvia vlog series. In this episode, we enjoy a beautiful Christmas morning on board Arvia. There's some outstanding festive evening entertainment on board. And stay tuned until the end to find out why everything doesn't go to plan during Christmas dinner. Hi, I'm Tom and I'm Dom and we are Tom and Dom Travel and welcome to Christmas Day on Arvia. It's Christmas Day! We are on Arvia and it's Christmas Day and we are going to tell you about our experiences on board. Now, we've seen Christmas Day on board already and it hasn't quite gone to plan. Um, for some passengers, it has not been great at all. No, it's been a bad, bad day, really. Really disappointing for them, really. For others, it's been okay. I don't think there's many people that have said they've had a brilliant day. Um, but we're just gonna tell you our own experience. So, um, if you were on board at Christmas, Please let us know your experiences in the in the comments below. Um, we'd like to see what happened in, in your point of view, really. Yeah, and we've spoken to a lot of you as well. So, you know, we'll try and sum up the day as best as possible. Obviously, we'll focus on our experiences and then sort of drop in what other people have said about theirs. Yeah. Uh, so we actually woke up really, really early. Mm -hmm. Perhaps it was Christmas excitement. We don't know. Uh, but yeah, we were up at eight o'clock, even though we had quite a late night last night. Um, so we were both shattered, really, really yeah. tired, but really excited because obviously neither of us have ever experienced Christmas um, away from home before. Yeah. Uh, so we stayed in the cabin. Uh, we exchanged uh, a couple of gifts and so forth. Yeah. While we were exchanging gifts, we got on the app, on the web page, shall I say, uh, got into the virtual queue for the Zenith restaurant. Um, and by the time we'd finished, we got a little mm -hmm. notification that popped up and said, oh, your table is ready, make your way down. They give you 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, so they'll hold your table for 15 minutes. If you're not there within 15 minutes, it goes to somebody else. Yeah, so it's business as, as usual this morning. You need to use the app or get in a queue if you want to um, have breakfast in either of the main dining rooms. Uh, we made our way down to the Zenith uh, main dining room and unfortunately, um, both queues uh, were really, really full. So we did have a little bit of a wait, even though we'd been called to tell us that our table was ready. ready. Yeah, so, so I was right. a little bit disappointing. We did. And then we got to the front of the queue after about what, 10, 15 minutes wait and uh, were greeted with a tray of mimosas um, and then we were shown to our table. Pretty straightforward. Um, it's a little bit disappointing considering how long we had to queue and how big the queue was. When we actually got into the restaurant, so many empty tables. Yeah, I really don't know what's going on with these tables. Really, really weird. They're really, really funny about, if you've got tables of two, they'll fill up all the tables of two. What they won't do is put any people in twos onto the table of fours. They'd rather leave the table of four empty the whole night because well, the whole morning. Um, when we were sat there, there were two tables of fours next to us that at no point did anyone come and sit on. Um, but they were telling people, you have to wait if you want a table or two. So quite strange, really. Just fill up the tables. It's, uh, I understand leaving a few, but there were quite a lot of empty tables. Uh, for our Christmas Day breakfast, uh, it was pretty much a standard breakfast menu, apart from the free mimosas that they were handing out. Um, uh, what I really did appreciate was uh, a toast rack. I've never seen yeah. that on a cruise before. Yeah, yeah. So and it was quite nice bread, wasn't it? it was, so we yeah. really enjoyed having fresh toast. Uh, with jam you had as well, didn't you? Yeah, there was jam and marmalade on the table, which was really nice. 
Um, in terms of the menu then, I, I chose to go for the Eggs Benedict and it was absolutely delicious. Yeah, and I made my own little breakfast, didn't I? So, because um, I don't like egg, don't eat egg, so I had a little breakfast without egg, but pretty standard. Yeah, juice, uh, coffees, really, really nice breakfast. We were in the Zenith restaurant for maybe, maybe an hour, hour and ten. Uh, we then went and had just a quick walk around the ship to see what, what sort of activities were taking place on board. We did notice that they were having a Christmas service within the main theatre. Mm. Um, they'd also had midnight mass on Christmas Eve as well. As we are now on the uh, drinks package, we went down to Vistas on deck six and got ourselves a couple of coffees just to uh, wake us up a little bit more. Oh, yes. um, and we sat up on uh, deck eight in the Keelan Cow, just overlooking the main atrium, uh, just while they cool down, because uh, what we found with these coffees on board is they're like lava. Mm -hmm. They are so hot. You, you really struggle to hold them. Yeah. And unlike Costas back home, where they'll give you that little bit of uh, car, yeah, the yeah. cardboard sleeve to sort of protect your hands, you've got no chance of getting that here. Yeah. But coffee's lovely. It's just really, really hot, so you can't really hold it. Yeah. So we sat up in the Keelan Cow just uh, while the coffee's sort of cooled down and chilled. Um, and uh, just uh, sort of took in the ambience of all everybody that was excited for Christmas Day walking past and all the children with all their new toys and that was really nice. Yeah, that was good. While we were in the atrium enjoying our coffees, what we did notice and that, that really shocked us was there was still a queue for a reception on Christmas Day. Yeah, well, it wasn't, wasn't a small queue either. It was a still a long queue. On Christmas again. Day. It's, um, and there was a, quite a big queue it's still in the olive grove with people trying to sort out their Christmas meals as well. So um, not ideal for those who were having problems. But luckily for us, we'd had the slip. It was sorted. Um, we are going to the chef's table. While we were sat up drinking our coffees, we um, did spot that the tree christmas tree and the chair which the captain had sat on yesterday to read night before christmas was free so we headed down um into the main atrium to get some pictures in front of the tree um sitting on the chair didn't we so we did a little bit of pose in there yeah took, took the opportunity to take a few photos of us sat in the chair and it was really quite nice and it, was. it wasn't just us doing it there were lots of other people sort of queuing up to have a go as well yeah uh, after the little photo opportunity then we decided to go outside and just explore the ship and what we did notice was the weather had started to get a little bit better and more importantly warmer. Yeah gradually, gradually getting warmer isn't it so don't get me wrong we still had our Christmas jumpers, jumpers on and our hats. Um, and our hats. Um, everyone was quite impressed with our hats weren't mm. we? So yeah we walked around did a couple of laps of the ship didn't we and um we then sat at the uh, front of the ship for uh, for about 20 minutes, didn't we? Because it was warm, quite warm there, yeah. it was sheltered from the wind. The sun was out, so it was just really nice to feel a little bit of sun on your skin. Um, and we did, we sat out there and just basically, you know, enjoyed the morning. Uh, it was really, really nice. Uh, and it's a brilliant spot right at the front of the ship. Um, it's completely out of the way and a lot of people sort of miss it or yeah. forget about it. Um, so, you know, if you want to, to have a little quiet sort of area, highly recommend it. Yeah, the sun deck at the front of the ship is a good place to head, isn't it? Yeah, normally, just over the retreat. Yeah. So normally there's a lot of free beds there as well, isn't there? So it's because it's, it's, it's away from the pools, really. It was still really rocky though, even though we sat at the front of the ship, so we wanted to see what the state of the pool bar and the infinity pools were um, that we talked about yesterday when it was quite rocky, so we headed to the aft of the ship. Um, easily done, you can easily walk across the, most of the top of the ship, can't you? So the pool bar at the aft, the waves were swishing about uh, quite a lot, even worse than the day before really, and um, the water was still coming over. Uh, some of the infinity pools um, so that was interesting to see once again wasn't it? And a lot of passengers were out there having a look 
After having a look at the swim up bar and the pool at the after the ship and just the waves swashing and swishing away all over the place, um, we decided to go and sit up in the crow's nest because it's quite a nice little spot. You've got beautiful views uh, over the front of the ship. Um, and as it was Christmas day, we thought we'd treat ourselves to a, a couple of glasses of Prosecco. Yeah, it's a lovely venue, like we've said before. Um, Really enjoyed the atmosphere up there. Great views over the front of the ship. Uh, beautiful place to sit. So we must have spent a good 45, 50 minutes just sat there, really chilled, really relaxed. Um, and then, believe it or not, it was time for our Christmas lunch. Not Christmas dinner. No, just Christmas lunch. lunch, just yeah. lunch. We didn't want to have um, too much did we? No, and we wanted to go to lunch early because we had to pre-book our Christmas dinner, which is our, you know, the big Christmas dinner, uh, prior to boarding, uh, and we opted for an early sit-in, which was 5.15. Yeah. Um, so we uh, joined the virtual queue, got called down once again, really, really quick, actually. We were only sort of in the virtual queue for about 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, made our way down to the Meridian restaurant, and lo and behold, another queue. Another queue. It's getting a bit, a bit of a common theme, isn't it, now? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we queued for that. Um, once again, we got into the restaurant. They gave us the menu. Menu, pretty limited for lunch. But on other cruise lines, the, the lunch menu is, the, you know, you've got a lot more choice. It's yeah. really quite limited. Really limited. Um, there's other venues. Don't, don't get me wrong, you can go to other venues. True. Um, but in the main dining room, the choice on that particular menu is limited. So... Um, just to clarify that. Uh, but we had, uh, well, I had um, soup to start once again. It was really nice, really, really nice. But then I kind of went really weird and because it was the only choice that I fancied on the menu, but strange choice for Christmas day. Um, probably more strange that they had it on the menu than that I chose it is that I had um, a curry. Um, it came with poppadom and a naan bread, and it was actually quite tasty. I only ate half of it, not because it wasn't enjoyable, but because I knew I was having a big Christmas dinner later in the day. For my starter, I decided to have the mixed leaf salad, and yeah, it was nice. I can't say there was anything wrong with it, and I did actually really, really enjoy it. Um, and for my main, I went for the chicken burger. I know it sounds quite strange on a Christmas day lunch, uh, but that's what was on offer and mm. that's what I fancied. Mm. Um, was it the greatest chicken burger I've ever had in my life? No, it was really, really quite spicy. <laughs> yeah, it was spicy. It was really, really spicy. Um, so I, I think I only ate half of it, but the, the fries slash chips on board that came with it were really, really nice. Really enjoyed those. Yeah. And then for dessert, I had a little um, stem ginger sponge cake. Uh, and I opted to go for the cheese selection, which was actually really, really nice. Uh, I had quite a few crackers, which uh, those of you that watched our previous vlogs will know that it, whenever I order a cheese board, uh, the one thing that does upset me is when there's not enough crackers on the plate. But I was pleasantly surprised. You had digestives. And uh, yeah, I did. It was really nice. As we were having um, our Christmas dinner at 5.15, like we said, we headed back up to the room just to relax for a couple of hours, really. Um, chill out um, and then get ready for our celebration night. So formal tux is out. So we left for our Christmas dinner. We left the cabin for our Christmas dinner around about five o'clock uh, and we made our way up to deck 16 aft. Yeah, which to the is, chef's table. Which we thought was going to be a, a good option. When you hear the name chef's table, you think, oh, we must be doing all right. Uh, what we actually found out was our Christmas dinner was in the um, back end of the buffet. <laughs> yes, we had Christmas dinner in the buffet. Yeah. Um, don't get me wrong, they decorated it quite nice. They'd put tablecloths on the buffet. There were crackers on the table. Yes. But it did feel a bit strange that we were having our Christmas dinner in the buffet, really. Yeah, so the area of the buffet that we had our Christmas dinner was the beach house. The beach house is a separate section of the buffet. Um, okay, so when it came to the, the dinner, uh, we were sat in a two. We were kind of squashed up a corner. 
um, out the way, a um, little bit hidden. Yeah, we were allocated a table, and that table will be ours again on New, New Year's Eve. Eve. Yeah. Um, okay, let's talk about what we had. We asked for wine, um, the particular wine that we wanted to start. Apparently, they don't do it, even though it's on the menu. Um, we don't have that to serve. No. Um, okay, scrap that. We ordered a different wine, didn't we? So we had a beef steak, Malbec. Malbec. Which no. they have got plenty on board, don't they? It, well, they better have because they haven't got none of the <laughs> no, other no, option. No. So, yeah. It's uh, not the first time that we've asked for a wine and it hasn't been available. No, it's strange. So, oh, well, we've got the drinks package, and when you read down the menu, there's perhaps three or four options of wine of each type of wine that you can have. So, three red, three white, no, one, one rose. Three red, three white, one rose. Um, but it seems to be that just one of each type is actually available. So if you want choice, there, there isn't. Yeah, it's a very limited choice. Um, so we had two glasses of beef steak red. Which is fine, I fine. enjoy it. They arrived. Um, the only issue was they arrived in plastic glasses because yeah. we were being served from the bar in the Sky Dome. Yeah. We started off with what we thought should have been our starter. We were meant to have an amuse bouche. bouche. God, people are going to tell us off and not pronounce that correct. Um, of cucumber uh, gazpacho. Anyway, our starter was the first thing that arrived. Um, when that arrived, we then asked where our amuse bouche was. Um, the waiter didn't know anything about it, according to him, but it turned up after our starter had arrived. Yeah, so. while we were halfway through our starters, the amuse bouche turned yeah. up. Yeah. So, um, for starters, I had the chicken, smoked ham hock and apricot terrine. I really liked it actually, it was okay. It, it was it was a good starter for me. Uh, and I decided to go for the goat's cheese croton. Croton, that's what it says. So it was uh, bits of goat's cheese on a bed of beetroot. Yeah. Uh, and it was okay, it was quite a yeah. nice little, uh, little starter, not too heavy. Yeah. Obviously Christmas dinner was coming. So next up we had a soup course. Um, I had the roasted tomato soup. Yeah, my favourite starters. So uh, beautiful, um, nothing spectacular, just roasted tomato soup. Uh, and I opted for the bubble and squeak soup, which mm. was really, really quite nice. Because you weren't sure about that, were you? No, I wasn't, because I don't like bubble and squeak. Mm. It's usually, what, fried vegetables? leftovers from a Sunday dinner. Yeah, it can be. It can be, I suppose. Uh, and I'm not a fan. Uh, but this soup was really, really tasty and it was more of a, well, it was just like a vegetable soup, really. Yeah, yeah. But very nice. Um, and then we waited quite a while um, for what we were expecting to be our sorbet course, which should have been a gin and tonic sorbet. And those of you that are regular viewers to our vlogs know we love gin and, and tonic. tonic. So we were waiting for that. <laughs> anyway, next thing to arrive was our turkey. Um, turkey dinner. Yes. So we both had turkey dinner, and then as the turkey dinner arrived, uh, and we started to eat it, then arrived... Um, the gin and tonic sorbet. The gin and tonic sorbet. <laughs> But we'd already started on the turkey dinner, so it was very weird then to start having a sorbet after having a few mouthfuls of turkey. For me, our, our two meals couldn't have been more different. Yeah. Even though we had the same turkey dinner ordered, mine was quite nice. I had a beautiful bit of stuffing. Um, the pig wrap, pigs wrapped in blankets was okay. Um, my boss potatoes were quite nice. Um, and I had vegetables of carrot and swede. And then your dinner it was completely different. It was not really that nice at all. No, the roast potatoes were quite nice. They were okay. I wouldn't say they were the best roast potatoes mm. I've ever had. The stuffing was just completely overpowering with herbs. Because you tried a bit I tried well. yours and it was awful. It was really, awful. really, really overpowering. Um, I had uh, a slither of, well, a quite a thick chunk of parsnip that wasn't cooked. It was horrible. Yeah, solid. Um, um, a bit of carrot and a bit of courgette. And two, so you had courgette on your Christmas yeah. dinner, which you weren't expecting. No, and uh, two Brussels sprouts. Now, and I like Brussels sprouts. Yeah, you did. I did have two sprouts, so, but I don't like them, so I don't I like them. Brussels sprouts. 
But these were horrible. I just really, really You put one like in your mouth and you were it's like disgusting. Um, other people were getting broccoli and so yeah. and other vegetables. So I don't know how they were distributing these veg. Um, very, very random. But Christmas dinner was okay for me. Not great for you, was yeah, it? Yeah, it wasn't like, the turkey was beautiful. You, you've got to give them credit. That meat was cooked beautifully. Yeah. And it did just fall yeah. apart in your mouth. I really the enjoyed turkey the turkey. Was nice. yeah. It was just all the other bits. So then we went on to dessert. Um, as you know, I like chocolatey things. So what I ordered what they had on the menu was a trio of chocolate desserts. Um, and it wasn't. <laughs> um, it was one chocolate, chocolate and chestnut cheesecake. Fine, nice. The second one was not chocolate at all. It was meant to be white chocolate and green tea. Couldn't taste anything chocolate in it at all. It was just no taste um and the third one was like um a profiterole type thing wasn't it with that was hazelnut. Favorite, and that was my favorite yeah but none of them were very christmasy or very christmasy or very chocolatey so it, it was a bit disappointing when they me. came on the plate it just looked like three little bit little cakes they, from the buffet from the buffet yeah it, it did look like three cakes from the buffet yeah um, and I, I opted, because I do love trifle, I opted for the festive trifle. And this is the strangest trifle I have ever had in my entire life. Yeah, when they put it in front of us, I wouldn't have guessed that was a trifle at all. Nor me. Um, it was basically two shortbread biscuits that were sandwiched together with mm. a bit of cream. Uh, and there was, there was a, a little bit of jam or some type of condiment um, dotted on the place, it, it plate. It was really, really strange. Um, I love I like shortbread. Don't get me wrong. Um, you had those like glassy cherries. Cherries with it as well. It was just really. I was expecting you know a proper festive Christmas trifle, people. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. No, it was two biscuits with the cream. So we did that, and then the waiter came to us and said, "Hope you've enjoyed your meal. See you later. Try and get out." And we were like, "Hang on, that's not the end of the meal." No, it's not. Um, we've got the menu, and it said that. We should also have another course that was Stalin mince pies. mince pies with cream and Christmas cake and Christmas cake. And he was like, he's like, we had no idea about any of that. I'll go check. I'll go check. I'll give you a check. Um, so then he went to check and came back with a, a plate of mince pies and Stalin. Uh, so yeah, it it just wasn't what we wanted it to be, was it? We didn't. It wasn't get... as advertised. No, so the menu was great, beautiful, it all looked lovely. Um, what they actually delivered was well below standard. Positives, though, when we compare our experience to other people's, um, we had five fifteen sit in. We made our way to uh, the beach house in the Horizon Buffet. Yeah, uh, we didn't have to queue very long; couple of minutes, yep. straight in, sat down at our table. It, you know. It, it was pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. And we were out by about 7.30, weren't we? Yes. Uh, we had no queuing. No queuing. Um, yeah. People have told us they had to leave the queues because the queues were so bad for the light sitting because they were having panic attacks. Um, they were all crammed into one corridor. So where Meridian Dining Room is, Sixth Street Diner and Olive Grove all feed off one corridor that is solid walls on either side. Um, it wasn't a great experience for some of our passengers, but um, we weren't there, so we're only going off what we were told. Yeah. Some, some, you might tell us completely different, um, so please let us know if you had a fantastic Christmas dinner that we don't know about, because mm. um, it's always you always hear more bad reports than good. So after our Christmas dinner debacle, should we say, um, we put it behind us and we headed um, off to the clubhouse. Now, on the way to the clubhouse, we decided that we'd pop into the atrium while it was quieter to grab a drink um, and just see what else is happening um, and take some pictures on the stairs in our tuxes for Christmas Day. Nice, uh, which we did. We took a bit of time there. We helped a couple of other people take pictures. Um, really nice. But what we did notice that the next sitting of Christmas dinner had started. So the later sitting was at 8.15. Um, and the queue was already 
um, all the way back, all the way the... from the main dining room, all the way through the atrium, and carrying on neatly. Well, I don't know how far back it went after that, but that was a hell of a hell of a queue. Really big queue. But we sat there, had a glass of prosecco. Luckily for us, the main issues were over. We chilled out. We had a glass of prosecco, and then headed off to the clubhouse, didn't we? Yep, um, and again, it was really nice atmosphere. The house band were playing yeah. Christmas tunes, because obviously it's Christmas Day, and it was just a really nice festive atmosphere. So yeah. we uh, did have a couple of cocktails in there while we were waiting for the 8.30 show in the main theatre. Yes, so the show tonight is Deck the Halls, a Christmas-based show featuring the, um, the headliners theatre cast. Um, it was a pretty good show, wasn't it? Yeah, again, very, very Christmassy. All Christmas songs called Deck the Halls. Yeah. Um, you know, some incredibly talented performers on board. Really, really talented. Very, very professionally done. High standard. Yeah. Uh, we really enjoyed that. It did make us feel quite Christmassy, didn't it? It did. Uh, okay, after Deck the Halls, we headed to the atrium where uh, the two um, aerial acrobatic performers that we spotted the other night were back on again this time um, they were coming down or up and around from a, a chandelier weren't they and oh it's um incredible it's heart stopping really watching them they are so talented they must have so much strength it's unbelievable because i don't know how they hang up there yeah. but the show they put on is fantastic so it's definitely a highlight to see them as you're walking through the atrium isn't it yeah. so keep an eye out for those make sure you check them out after watching the performers in the uh, main atrium, we quickly hurried up to the Sky Dome because tonight it was a Michael Bublé tribute. Yeah, uh, Michael Bublé was great. Um, I don't know his real name, so I'm still going to call him Michael Bublé, but it wasn't the real one. No. Um, it, it was a really good show, wasn't it? Very um, good. The acoustics in the Sky Dome let him down a little bit, but from what we saw, it was a good show. Yeah, and it was packed in there, wasn't it? Was packed, it? yeah. Really busy. Um, it's a good little um, space, really, to for entertainment. But yeah, the sound is a little bit dodgy. Yeah, um, you need to make sure you're positioned in the right place in the sky dome to hear exactly what um, is going on clearly. Now, Michael Bublé featured a few more times because for some reason, after the show, two people um, came up to me thinking I was Michael Bublé. Um, I can confirm I was not. <laughs> it's true. I wish I was. <laughs> so I don't know why that was. Two people. Because um, I don't think I looked anything like this guy who was performing as Michael Bublé. But one lady come running up to me and was going, Michael, Michael. Um, it's true. Perhaps uh, she had a few too many cocktails, I don't know. Me. She must have gone blind with them because <laughs> it, it was me. So. <laughs> um, I don't know. So I wasn't Michael Bublé. Play at all. Uh, as it was PO celebration night and we were dressed up in our finest, mm. uh, we thought, oh, well, let's go to the Crow's Nest uh, and have a little bit of sophistication. There was a lovely pianist playing. Um, so we... Oh, it really suited the occasion. Yeah. On celebration night, with your tucks on or with your fine dresses on, um, it's a great place to go. It really felt like Special. It suited the occasion, yeah. didn't it? We had a nice um, couple of drinks in there. You tried an espresso martini? I tried an espresso martini. It was really, actually really nice. I enjoyed that espresso martini in there. Uh, what we did notice was that the Limelight Club was open to all from 10.30. Yeah, so on our mission, like we just said, exploring all venues, we headed down to the Limelight. Live uh, music was on. Yeah, they said called the Limelights, I think. The band yeah. the house band in there were called the Limelight. And it was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, they did were some fantastic. really good um, disco diva songs. Really good. Mixing with a couple of Christmas classics. Um we ha had a nice nice time in there. Again the wine that we wanted wasn't available. Um so we went back to um, choosing things that we know we'd already had. I had Cosmo, I think, then that time. Oh, I stayed with Prosecco, keeping it, keeping um, it clean. God, I'm mixing it really, aren't I? But um, it was a good venue. I, we're looking forward to getting it in there later on in the week because yeah. we've booked to see Matt Cardle in there. So um, 
we see what it's like in the limelight with the meal and everything else yeah. included. So we're looking forward to that. We stayed in limelight for about an hour. Uh, and as it was Christmas, we then decided to uh, make our way to the late night disco in the clubhouse <laughs> uh, on deck eight aft. Yes, we did. Didn't we um, had another drink there. Um, so we've had quite a few drinks now, actually, haven't we? But no, we're making the most of that package. Mm -hmm. um, it, again, nice in the clubhouse, good atmosphere. Um, we stayed in there for one drink, didn't we? Yeah, we, we chatted to a few other passengers that yeah. obviously came in and spoke about their evening and their Christmas meal. Yeah, yeah. at this point the people were coming in from their Christmas meal then because it was getting half 11, 12-ish. So even though people were coming in to join us from their Christmas meal, we were actually quite hungry, so we headed up to the buffet. Yeah, because we'd eaten early tonight. We had eaten it well. Yeah, it went on, but we had eaten early compared to what we normally do. Once again, in the buffet, the food was really random. We actually both ended up with a, a lasagna, uh, which was quite dry, a really bit dry. bland. Um, nothing to go with the lasagna, just a bowl of lasagna. Um, I picked up some sausage rolls. Yeah, what you thought were sausage rolls anyway, weren't because they? Very there's very few items that are actually labelled. Yeah. So yeah. it is kind of like a little yeah, bit of a guessing game. Nothing labelled for some reason. I don't know why. Very, very sporadic things um, that are labelled. So I, if you have got an intolerance, just be careful in the eat. Or even if you're a vegan or vegetarian, be careful in the evening late night buffet because not everything is labelled at all. Perhaps that's just an Arvia thing, I don't know, because maybe they haven't got, I don't know, but still be careful, be careful um, and that was it really for our night It was, We'd it's been a, a long day a long it's been day. a long day, it's been an eventful day It's Christmas It's Christmas. <laughs> I know we should definitely be more cheery but it has been um, there's definitely been some highlights um, Oh yeah the, Tonight's theatre show was fantastic the atmosphere around the the ship in the day was great. The ship is decorated beautifully. Um, the fact the weather's a bit warmer. Yeah, but there has been some misses as well, unfortunately. Yeah. So that, there were some real letdowns with the Christmas dinner. Uh, thanks for watching our Christmas Day on Arvia. If you've got any comments, just pop them in the box below and we'll get back to you. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because we've got lots more Arvia content coming your way. Things can only get better. No. No, don't think again. No. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to check us out on social media.